Hi, my name is Steve Cordero. I'm from Acrobat Enterprise Support. Welcome to IT Tips and Tricks. Uninstalling Adobe Reader 9X. So the way we would normally uninstall Reader would be in Add Remove Programs in the Control Panel. But we're not doing that today. Today we're going to do it via the command line and another method I've got for you. So first is the syntax for this would be msi exec.exe space forward slash x and then the GUID sometimes referred to as the GUID. Now you can get that either by going into the registry or doing something a little bit simpler. Reader actually provides a folder called setup files and it puts uh, the GUID you know, in the name of a folder, so you can copy that. There are two here, but uh, the second one here is actually for the spelling dictionaries, so that's not the one we want, and you can verify that if you look in that folder, it'll have an MSI for the spelling dictionaries. So, what we want to do is have the syntax for uninstalling, and then simply paste it in. Now, if you were doing this via a script, you would want to do it silently. So what you would do is you would either put a switch like Q, which means no user interface, or QN, or there are a couple of other ones, QB. Um, but what you would do is you would not want to basically show that to the user. But in this instance, I want to show it to you. I want to show you what goes on you know, behind the scenes if the switches aren't there. So we've got the syntax, we've got the GUID, and let's watch the uninstall. Hit the prompt. Are you sure you want to uninstall this product? Yes. And it's done. We no longer have reader on the desktop or in the programs menu. So, that's one method. We're going to try doing another method here right now. Okay, we are back and I'm going to show you a new tool that we've actually been uh, testing out and it's located on Adobe Labs. It's called Adobe Reader and Acrobat Cleaner tool. And it has it has a description here. It says the Adobe Reader and Acrobat Cleaner tool removes standalone installations of Reader or Acrobat, including any preferences and settings that may be present during a standard program uninstall. The tool has both a user interface as well as a command line interface. We're just going to have a look at the the user interface for right now. And um, it's mostly used for problematic instances when Reader or Acrobat can't uninstall. So let's go through the process of downloading. And there is a EULA for it, so we will want to check the box. By downloading the software listed below, I acknowledge I have read and agreed to the terms of the Adobe Reader and Acrobat Cleaner tool license, and the Adobe.com terms of use, and the Adobe Online Privacy Policy and then you can click it here. I need to mention that this is for Windows only. Close that there. And then we've got a set of user instructions here too. So let's open it up and extract the files. And I'm just going to extract these to the desktop. And then close up. So it does come with some documentation here. Talks about the interface for using it by the command line.
and let's have a look at the UI first. And here we have the opening dialog. This tool removes Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Reader, including any preferences settings that may be preserved when uninstalling normally. This tool should only be used when a normal program uninstall is not successful. Click Next to begin or cancel to exit. And we're going to um, assume that this is a bad install and we can't uninstall it, so let's try using the cleaner tool. And again, we have end user license agreement, as you do with every program. And choose the product you want to remove. It defaults to Acrobat, but we know that we want to remove Reader, so we'll select Reader. Select Next. And it tells us that it's detected one or more instances of Adobe Reader in the mach machine. Press Clean Now. And we're going to do that. And that's asking us to restart. For this demo, we're not going to restart because that would end this quickly. But now we're we have the opportunity to view logs, which we can. And this will give us the rundown of what, what got un uninstalled. And we can finish. And that's it. So let's reset and have a look at the command line version of this. OK, so we're back now. And we'll reset. We've reinstalled 9, and we are going to use the cleaner tool to remove reader by the command line. Okay, I've already set up the line here, but I'm going to go through it. <coughs> so, we have Adobe AR Cleaner.exe, we have the silent switch the product switch and we're naming the product as number one which in the documentation means it's reader the install path which is the install path to the reader directory the clean level which is just for this product and it's the default which is zero and scan for others which is also the default for this set of product directories so let's have a look at it and see what it does. And there goes the reader icon. And I believe we're done. Let's double check that in the control panel. And indeed, Reader has been removed. So there you have it. There's a demonstration of how to remove Adobe Reader from the command line using the GUID, removing Adobe Reader with the UI using the Acrobat and Reader cleaner tool, and also removing Adobe Reader using the command line and the Acrobat and reader cleaner tool. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.